our work over the years has focused primarily on Parkinson's disease, which is a, um, a major public health problem. Parkinson's disease is often a very disabling disorder that is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder. It gets worse over time. It takes people out of the workforce young. There are people who are right in midlife and they're stricken with this and they have to leave the workforce. They develop tremor, problems with gait and posture and balance. Parkinson's disease also frequently impairs cognitive abilities and has effects on other parts of the nervous system. So we're studying the way brain function gets organized across the brain in normal people and uh, how that changes once a disease um, takes hold of the brain and how these uh, disrupted pathways are replaced by other ones and how those other ones can be either be made to uh, go away if they are disruptive or improved in some way if they offer compensation. We've worked on developing imaging measures that will um, hasten the development of therapies and I would consider one of our major successes in the last few years is that we've now begun to apply these in actual clinical trials both for uh, confirming diagnosis of Parkinson's disease and for assessing therapies. Our experience in the gene therapy area with uh, Dr. Fagan's work underscores uh, just how powerful and uh, predictive these measurements are. Our recent study demonstrated efficacy for the first time for a gene therapy for Parkinson's disease. I was the first patient to be part of the gene therapy trial. I felt much better, my tremors were gone. You know, for the first time in any study that I was involved with, there was a real big difference. We're hoping that this will lead to the first gene therapy that will be approved by the FDA. So we're, we're moving along with this. And Feinstein Institute's the place for this because we have the clinical trials capability, the translational piece, and the imaging all in one place. So it's natural that we should have a leadership role in the uh, development of this form of technology.